Hey Valley English kids, welcome to your first e-lesson where we explore third person narration. Let's start off with something kind of fun. The trivia question of the day is who, how old is Waldo? We know him, we all love him. How old is that dude? All right, our official spunky target of the day is I can explain the different kinds of third person narration. Our game plan, we're gonna look at the third person close up, the three different kinds. We're gonna practice it. There'll be a ticket to the show option, and if you need some additional practice, you can go into Moodle E42.5E, and there will be a whole bunch of this exact lesson with all the slides plus some a lot of additional practice. Let's do this thing. All right, third person narration. There are a couple of words you need to understand. First of all, make sure you're familiar with dialogue, where those are the characters' voices, and then the narration. That's when the author's talking. Like, hey, you, characters. John walks slowly over to the door. John walks slowly over to the door. That's narration. We're interested in narration today. Okay. There are three different types of narration. Limited, omniscient, and objective. That's our target today, to be able to tell what each of these three are and be able to distinguish by looking at the piece of text, which is which. Um, here it is in a nutshell, the differences. Sometimes characters' inner thoughts are revealed, like in this one here. I feel sad. They tell us what they're thinking. Other times, the narrator does not reveal it. He felt sad. We don't know what they're thinking inside their head. All right, let's move on. So the first type of is third person limited. The narrator reveals the thoughts and feelings of one of the characters. Take a look at this one here. Chris liked Elma since the third grade, but had never found the nerve to tell her. But one sunny day, Chris said to Elma, So, do you want to go to a movie with me? Elma blushed and said, Okay. Chris smiled. Sorry, that's a typo. That should say Elma. This tells his internal thoughts, Chris's. So the narration is limited to Chris, one person. Take a look at this little cartoon. Okay, here's the dialogue. So, you want to go to a movie with me? Okay. I like the way I switched the voices for you there. I thought you might get a chuckle out of that. The dialogue... We're not paying attention to. What we're looking, paying attention to here is the fact that I like Elma. It says that. We know that character's thoughts. So the narration is limited to Chris. All right? Limited. We know one character's thoughts and feelings. Bet you can guess what the next one is. Omniscient. Omniscient means all knowing. All knowing. Omniscient narrators tell more than one character's thoughts or feelings. Take a look at the same story as I redo it. Chris had liked Elma since the third grade. Little did he know that Elma liked him too. They both admired one from afar and waited. One day, Chris said to Elma, So, do you want to go to a movie with me? Elma felt her stomach sink. She couldn't believe it. Blushing, she said, Okay. Chris smiled. Look at, she couldn't believe it. Now we know what Elma's thinking too. So in this case, the narrator is all-knowing. Here's the same dial, the same uh, little cartoon. Once again, the dialogue doesn't matter. What matters is, do we know what their inner thoughts are? I like Elma. Oh, I like Chris. Got it? All right. Two or more characters' thoughts are revealed. That's what omniscient means. It doesn't have to be all of the characters as long as there's two or more. Okay? All right. Can you guess what the third one is? Objective means... No internal thoughts are shared. Take a look at this one here. Chris walked up to Elma with his hands behind his back. So, do you want to go to a movie with me? He said nervously. Elma blushed. Okay, Chris smiled. All right. We got nothing here really about what their inner thoughts are. We can infer that because he's walking slowly up and he has his hands behind his back that maybe he likes her or he's confident or he's not confident. You can infer whatever you want there. But we don't know their inner thoughts and feelings. Take a look at the cartoon. It's very plain. You want to go to a movie? Okay. Just dialogue. All right. Everything else is inferred. All right. So we got the three kinds. Limited, we understand and know one character's thoughts, inner thoughts and feelings. Omniscient, we know more than one character's, at least two. And objective, O just like zero. O for objective, O for zero. I guess that doesn't work because we got omniscient too, but it always helped me. All right. 
So a few signal words, knew, felt, contemplated, thought, understood, believed, reflected. All of these words in this list here will help you understand that now the character is going to reveal some inner thoughts. All right? Okay. Telling the difference. Focus on the narration. When you're doing this, circle any narrated thoughts or feelings when you're looking at an example. Count each character's thoughts. Does this character have them? Yes. Do I know this person's thoughts? No. Do I know this person's? Yes. Two people. It's got to be omniscient. Um, only third person narration has these modes. Some kids try to think that, well, my first per it's first person um, omniscient. No. Only third person. First person and second person. Uh, no. They are just single. We have third person narration is the one that's broken down into limited, objective, <clears throat> and omniscient. All right, let's try a couple of examples together. Sideways story from the Wayside School. You go ahead and read this passage. You can pause it. Okay, let's see how you did. This is the third person limited. Okay, so if it's third person limited, whose thoughts are revealed? Well, Paul's thoughts are real, re revealed. He saw the pigtails and a terrible urge comes over him, okay? He thought it would be fun to tie the pigtails together. We know his thoughts. Good job. All right, try this passage here. Read it. Go ahead and pause it and read it. I see dead people. And I'm just messing with you. All right, let's take a look at it and see how you did on this one. This one's third person omniscient. Omniscient means we know more than one. Whose do we know? We know May and Winnie's thoughts. All right, time for the ticket. Uh, I'd like you to take a look at these examples here. And I'm going to uh, have you just take and write down on a piece of paper what you think they are, what perspective, and if they're omniscient or limited, make sure you tell me whose thoughts are revealed. All right, take a look at the first one, Curious George and the Pizza. Okay, I'm going to scroll down so you can see this whole next text, and you can take and pause the video one more time so you can read it. So wait! Remember, they're also available on Moodle. You can pull them up on Moodle, too. All right. Uh, let's go back. Let's find out the answer to our trivia question. How old is Waldo? Well, Waldo was first published in 1987, making him 26 years old in 2013. I believe this was the first book. Where's Waldo? Um, here's the thing that bugs me. Why didn't I come up with drawing pictures of some little dude in a simple outfit and make millions of dollars, huh? I wouldn't even have to write. Just learn how to draw and get really creative and about a hundred other things. All right. So maybe I'm not cut out to be the next designer, but it was a simple idea, uh, and I think that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, I also told you that on Moodle, if you go to 45.E, you're going to see a whole bunch of different examples. As I scroll down through here, you'll see that there's examples. And then the next slide, it'll be the example, and they will have the answers as to what they are. So there's a whole bunch of them. Look at them all over there. Okay? Thank you for watching this evening. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something about third-person narration. And that objective means zero in person's thoughts are revealed. Limited means we know the thoughts or inner thoughts of one of the characters and omniscient means that we know the thoughts of more than one. Again, those are the three types of third-person narration, omniscient, objective, and limited. Thanks. Have a good night.